Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use mod inheritance command. Before we use it, just uh, get to know how uh, and why we use it. Mod in inheritance command is used in casting and machining parts. So uh, there will be a relation uh, when you use the mod inheritance. There will be a relation in casting and machining part and how the relation is built I will show you for example uh, consider this part as a casting part and on that casting part there are four holes okay and as you might know that the casting surface is not good so on the mounting surfaces we need to remove some amount of material that material is called as a machining allowance okay that may be 3 mm or 5 mm it depends on the uh, situations okay so this is a casting part now uh, the part of uh, the name of the part is a uh, casting parts name is a now I, I I need to create a new part which is which will be the machining part uh, I will give the name for that part as a B say okay now I will call that machining part here in this model B using merge inheritance so how to call that go to get data select merge inheritance open select that part I'll constrain it by default say okay now say yeah, okay now when you call that casting part in your uh, machining uh, part you won't be able to edit any of the feature like you can see in the model tree uh, it is showing external merge id 40 okay you can add or subtract the material in this model okay uh, like we need to uh, remove the machining uh, we we need to add, uh, cut the machining allowance uh, from this surface so what I will do, I will extrude uh, 3 mm of the material from its surface like this. Oh, before that, I'm sorry. Before that, I will just color it so that it will be very uh, clear to vis uh, visible to you that uh, where the machining will happen. Go to view. Go to ga appearance gallery select this color okay uh, I have just done, done that because uh, after uh, creating a cut you can easily recognize that where is the machining surface okay now I'll go to extrude I'll select the surface and now I'll cut the 3 mm surface okay remove material okay see okay. now see uh, that color uh, showing that the the surface is machine from here everything is yellow except this surface okay now uh, let's understand uh, what is happening here if you have added a cut here it won't affect your uh, casting part like uh, i'll show the casting part a see nothing will happen here okay so there is no relation uh, of uh, or there will be no effect of uh, of machining parts whatever you do in that nothing will affect the casting part but on the other hand uh, just think uh, the part this part is in the industry right now uh, suppose after a few years that part needs some changes or some modification in that Okay, so when I'll do some changes like I need to add a radius here some design changes uh, ask me to add a radius here Here Like this Then I don't need to go to machining part and add that radius again so it will automatically add that radius in my machining part if you go to see here this generated and you see this 
the radius is automatically added in that so whatever you may, uh, changes you make in the casting model it will directly appear in the machining model so that's the main uh, use of merge inheritance i hope you like the video and if you do so please like share and subscribe the video thank you for watching